let's talk about questions from computer section from 2021 papers so these questions are based across different sets of uh, papers and some of the type of questions that were asked the important ones we would be discussing now some of those were very very uh, probable questions as we have seen through various years before as well so the first question was what is anti-spyware software now here this is a software that detects a spyware as simple as that so it detects a program which is installed illegally on the computer system so 2 becomes the right option the next is uh, spyware we have covered in a separate lecture so just refer that very very important the next is database refers to collection of logically related data that's correct the purpose of assembly language is to bring man and computer together not at all assembly languages are low level languages low uh, low order languages however higher programming languages like c c++ aim to bring man and computers together so this statement is an incorrect statement okay assembly language programming languages higher order programming languages we have covered in our video lectures in detail the next is hardware represents a physical and a tangible part of the computer definitely i say this is a mouse so this is a hardware it's a physical tangible thing that you can see it's not like a software the next is operating system is tailor made software not at all tailor made tailor made means custom made you go to tailor you ask them to stitch according to your health and height but operating systems does not work like that if i have windows 7 you have windows 7 that windows 7 would be same for me same for you it's not that for me if i'm taking the classes there are certain uh, different uh, features which are available for you who is listening as a student you have certain different features no it's same for all so it's not tailor made understand the meaning read the sentences very very carefully most of the answers you would be able to solve if you are reading the sentences carefully so the first is correct second is incorrect statement the next question is what is the purpose of blockchain blockchain we have covered a separate lecture in light of cryptocurrency new digital currency being released by the government this topics become extremely important for your 2022 examination as well cover cryptocurrencies cover blockchain very thoroughly extremely important so the idea is to secure the data through blockchain we try to have a set of protected information which is a blockchain sequentially one after the other and that's the basic idea we have explained it through legos in a separate lecture so refer that the next is kritika is trying to make a science project represented uh, on fraction using a powerpoint software she wants to add the phrase presentation on fraction at the bottom of each page so i would just click footer kritika would just click footer and when the footer opens in the column on page number she uh, she would write presentation on fraction and that's how this would be done so what option would be used the option of footer would be used so footer if put would go on to each of the pages so this was an applicative kind of questions if you are using the uh, the the technology you would be able to answer another question is again an applicative question if you have ever joined google meet you would be in, able to answer this question so in the free version of google meet you can record your sessions or classes that's uh, that's one of the statements now can you record definitely you cannot record you can record only if you have uh, a business plus uh, or a enterprise plus setup okay in a free version there is no capability to record the next is to join an online class conducted via google meet you need to log into your google account no it's not required even if you don't have your google account you can actually log into the portal so both the statements here are incorrect clear the next is which of the following are softwares so adobe is a software so adobe has various softwares like photoshop premiere pro so all those are adobe softwares web browsers like chrome mozilla are all softwares then device drivers i want to install printer i want to install uh, any other scanner there would be a device driver so it would be again a software so a b and d all of those are software the next question is some of the company and their founders well known well heard microsoft bill gates so this is a question more from general knowledge less from computers apple steve jobs 
Uh, now two of them you know if those match you have a high probability that you are already on the correct answer but still not Infosys, Narayan Murthy, Airtel, Sunil Mittal. So those are the correct options. The next is the kind of softwares which are used. So Modal is a very important software. It is an open source learning management system. Okay. Google Classroom is a cloud based system. Blackboard is a proprietary uh, software. However, if you are trying to do data collection or quizzes, you can use Google Form. Now, all of these have become important. Why? In the light of digital learning, questions related to digital technology have gained importance. So, even in the section on computers, you would see most of the questions coming from the use of computers in the field of education. Clear? So, extremely important, very, very uh, probable questions for this time as well. The last question is again important, which group is a volatile memory? Every time a related question comes through our doubt resolution sessions, we have covered this extensively. I would always request you to go back and refer the classes on doubt resolution on the video lectures at doorstep that we have covered. And there we have solved these kind of problems in uh, thorough. That means what is volatile? Volatile is even if I switch off, the computer memory, uh, then the content would uh, retain while it is powered on. If the power supply is interrupted, the storage would be lost. Now what kind of memory it shows? RAM, random access memory and cache. Both of these would retain till the time the computer system is on. As soon as I switch it off, then the power becomes un unavailable, then the memory would go off. So that's what is RAM and cache. So two cache is the temporary memory. So two of those are the things that we would understand here under the category of volatile memory. So these were some of the questions from computers. As I said, application of computers to education becomes very important. Lots and lots of questions were directly or indirectly related to it. So practice well, solve at least last five years papers and the complete video course is available at the link below for paper one preparation. Thanks for joining in.